Hi guys, it's me. Good morning from Australia. Um, I made this scammer run away. So I don't know if this is a failed bait or what, but um, meet Chris Maloney, who hit me up yesterday. Hello there. I hope you and your family are in good health and experiencing greatness in this month of the year. In this month of the year. I deem it pertinent to remind you that you're a gift to be treasured and adored by everyone. At your worst, you're God's finest creation. The best your generation has ever seen. I appreciate the supports and the love towards me. I am wholeheartedly grateful. On behalf of my management team, my family and myself, I say a big thank you. Love heart. Love eyes. Now this is their new format quite well written, to which I responded, uh, you're welcome, I guess, which he love-hearted. How are you doing? I hope all is well with you, Julia. To which I said, yes, all is fine, apart from a mild autumnal cold, which he love-hearted. Sorry about the cold, Julia, but not is it season, smiley face, which I misunderstood on purpose and said, but it is autumn where I am. To which he responded, oh, and a completely shocked face. Where are you texting from, Julia? And in response to oh and the shocked face, I said, yes, that is how seasons work when you have two hemispheres, dot, dot, dot. To which he says, yeah, truly said, smiley face, shocked face. To which, and in response to where are you texting from, Julia, I said, I live in Lanka, a small mountaintop village off the Isle of the Tasman Sea, which he love hearts. I said, so tell me, why does an actor message people online? To which he said, wow, that's a great place on the east coast of Australia. So he must have gone and Googled the Tasman Sea and found out where it was. Though, really, it's it's not even there uh, and wouldn't have been able to find Lanka anyway. To which I responded, oh, have you been? It's a little closer to Tasmania, but you weren't far off. And in response to, so tell me, why does an actor message people online? Thanks for asking, Julia. I do not know about others, but for myself, it's a way of communicating with my fans privately. Get to know them better and meet them someday too. Smiley face, love heart, laying the foundation for the scam. I said, it seems a little aimless, but you do you, man. One would imagine that is a tremendous amount of people to message, but I suppose you do have the time now going by your last post. To which he responds, I don't think it's aimless like you say. I'm a very busy person. But creating some time for people who made you to the top by supporting and giving you words of encouragement is very important, Julia. To which I said, well, I guess you'd know. How did you do it before the internet and social media? I'm fascinated. Ah, fan mail, one supposes. Letters. To which my absolute dickhead said in response to I'm fascinated, thanks, Julia, smiley face. So, Julia, how long have you been a fan? But I wasn't going to be deterred. And in response to thanks, Julia, I said, I'd be grateful if you answered my question. That's what I meant by the fascination, awaiting your reply. And in response to how did you do it before the internet, he very, very, uh, you know, puzzled, two question marks, because obviously these scammers have no idea that there was a time before the internet. I said, yes, exactly. You are 63, ipso facto, prior to the internet and social media, of course. And in response to how did you do it before the internet, he responded, yeah. Very, very uncertain of his stance at the moment. I said, yeah, is not an answer. If you forgot the question, scroll back, I suggest. And in response to how did you do it before the internet, he said, in what way do you mean about this? Said my obviously 19-year-old scammer who has never, ever lived in a time before the internet or mobile phones. To which I just sent dot, 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 clearly unimpressed. I said, I meant, how did you interact and thank your fans before the internet? I did already ask, twice now, to which he responds, by texting them, via messaging, <laughs> emailing too. 
Why'd you delete the message, Julia? Because my bottom message here, I said, it came twice for unknown reasons. And that actually came up twice. So it would have shown me repeating myself. So I showed him exactly where in the conversation I had asked, how did you do it before the internet on social media? I'm fascinated. Uh, Fan mail, letters. And I continued, this is what I initially asked you. To which my scammer said, okay, mobile phones. (laughs) To which I said, you are aware of the time before mobile phones and the internet, correct? I know you are in your 60s, but you're hardly in your dotage, man. To which he said, being in my 60s, dear, wouldn't stop me from doing my best to communicate with fans, dear. This one was so stupid. To which I went, dot, 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 wow, I think it's best we drop the subject. You're clearly having comprehension issues. Let's change the subject then. My fascination is doomed to be for nothing. To which my idiot scammer said, if you say so, I wouldn't want to make you feel bad too. To which I responded, oh, I never feel bad, ever. To which he as the very mature 63-year-old American actor that he is, puts in a smiley emoji. I said, I'm just tired of asking the same question thrice now. Do change the subject. To which he said, so how old are you, Julia? Resorting to his list of questions. I said, 32. Really? You don't look 32. Smiley face. You looking younger, dear. I said, if you say so, the photo is old knowing very well what response that would elicit. Ah, can I have a recent photo, he said. So I sent another photo of a very young Kate Blanchett, which he love hearts. He said, I dyed my hair and that was last week. No glasses, obviously, because the photo I have on this profile is of me with red hair and glasses. Wow, he said, did you know you look this beautiful cat eyes, blushing emoji, I don't know. I said, yes, so I'm told. To which he said, are you married yet? I went, no, never. The idea gives me the ick. You, however, are a long time happily married man who frequently espouses their partner's virtues all over print media. It's nice to see. It's nice to see a couple who buck the inevitable system of your in your profession. I wanted to make sure it very clear that he couldn't romance me. Thanks, came the response. You just need to do what's right and keep to it, said my idiot. I said, yes, so my parents tell me often. So many parents, he said, you staying alone or with family. Apropos of nothing, I said, so many parents. I only have two. And of course I have my own place. I am 32. I have one in the mountains and then my apartment in the city. I divide my time. That's cool. I like the way you talk. What school did you attend? Laughing emoji. I think he was taking the piss at this point. And in response to that, cool, I like the way you talk, I said, educated. Yes, mummy and daddy paid for private school, thankfully. And in response to what school did you attend, laughing emoji, I said, first I went to Monash, then I did my postgraduate at Sydney University. And then, because he was still active, but obviously either tired of me or trying other victims, I said, I take it asking you any questions would result in the same as with the internet topic, so I'll let you lead the direction of the conversation. Less fascinating, but I'm sure it's still worthwhile. I said, oh, you went away. Well, I suppose it's dinner time there. Thank you for dropping by to say hello, because it was about 7.30 Nigerian time, to which he love hearts. I got back, he said. Your mum and dad did really well. I said, yes, they did, I suppose to which he love hearts. Do you have siblings? Resorting to the usual nonsensical um, list of questions which no adult asks each other at first meeting. I said, yes, I have a brother, do you? And then he went away for ages. I didn't, and I said, I didn't think that was such a difficult question because it was obviously Googling um, Christopher Maloney, to which he said, I have two siblings. I said, oh, okay, that's good, one supposes. To which he said, yeah. So what's your occupation, Julia? 
again, having exhausted his list of questions. I said, oh, I don't work. I don't need to. I have a trust fund. So I ski and hike and do all sorts of fun things, go to events and galas and concerts, that sort of thing. I'm a lawyer, but I have never practiced, much to my parents' chagrin, LOL. My father is your age. To which he said, oh, can I see his photo? <laughs> Asking me of a photo of my father. To which I said, of my father? No. Why on earth would you want to see that? How odd you are. If you wish to speak with him, I'll tell him to contact you via this app. If that is your reason of messaging me, I'm annoyed. And because he at this point hadn't even bothered to see it and was courting other victims, I said, hello, if I can reply post haste, that's the least you can do. If you don't wish to chat, just say so. I have things to do besides sit by my phone, dot, 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 which my scammer completely not reading and completely misunderstanding, said, it's okay if you have something to do, then you go, you can go ahead with it. <laughs> to which I responded, wow. So my initial impression was correct. Ugh, goodbye. To which he came back a little bit later. I don't argue, Julia, if that's what you think. Apropos of nothing and putting a question uh, emoji. I said, I have no idea what you think or say or do, except that you're clearly rude, uncultured, unintelligent, and possibly just old. You haven't read anything or engaged in a single bit of intelligent conversation throughout this entire time. So, as you so succinctly put it, I have better things to do than to stay and be ignored by someone like you. Goodbye, which he saw two hours ago. And it is about 11.30 in Nigeria. Sorry, I'm having trouble breathing because my nose is so blocked. Um, now I'm wondering if he's going to return. So uh, we'll wait and see. He may come back later today. One of my other accounts was uh, banned for 12 hours. I think Tom Jones got a little bit annoyed with me. And I'll do that video probably later today. Tom Jones hit up both of my uh, other accounts. Um, nothing in exciting happened really, but I might do it anyway. So there you go. Let me know if you think he'll be back. Uh, he's obviously asleep now. I doubt he's gotten any customers or clients, victims, whatever. So there you go. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Sorry about the shorter video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.